show you some new updates to our hotel kiosk app. Uh, first thing, we introduced Stella. And uh, if you notice, we have introduced a girl and in the front desk. At the same time, we have changed the voice uh, <coughs> when Stella show up for work. Uh, so both Stella and uh, Stanos will take turn to man the kiosk. Uh, but my focus today is to show you that uh, we have finally made the cash collections for room charges uh, available. So I'm going to try book for Villa Room 10 ringgit. Okay, key in my name, my phone number. Right, so the fee for the room is 10. The security deposit is, is 5 ringgit, so in total 15. Right. Scan my card. Okay, so pay attention to this card. When I click credit card, right? It will show 10 ringgit, the room charges. Then, once I pay using credit card, it will go to the security deposit, which is collected by cash. But, if I try to make payment using cash, it will give me 15 ringgit, which means I will collect both the room charges and security deposit at one go. Okay. So, I have paid 15 ringgit. I collected my receipt and my room key. All right. So from the receipt, right, you get to see the amount paid. At the same time, the security deposit five ringgit. Right. So since I have checked, check into this room, I'm gonna try check out. Okay. So my room is we are triple zero. I'm gonna choose my name. And if you notice, there is no outstanding payment, and I'll have to collect my 5 ringgit deposit. Okay, that's my 5 ringgit deposit. Hello, I have just done the check-in and check-out using the kiosk. Now what I'm going to show you is how actually it's being recorded in the PMS. Uh, first thing first, if you notice when I walk in to book the hotel room, uh, I was quoted 10 ringgit for the villa room. So as a hotel, you manage the price using the inventory page, under the different rates plan. Under this kiosk rates plan, you get to set a specific price for the same room at different day, right? So I adjusted it to 10 ringgit so that I could demonstrate it uh, to you so that I could collect, I paid 10 ringgit at the kiosk and then uh, 5 ringgit for the security deposits. So as you can see here, uh, this is how you manage. Uh, let's say I wanted to change the price, right? I could just click here and say I wanted to change it to 100 ringgit. Uh, sorry, let's say I'm gonna keep it to 10 ringgit for the whole week so that I can uh, check in at a very cheap rate, you know? So once I did that, if you notice, for villa room kiosk, uh, I'm actually selling at 10 ringgit. Right, so it will not affect your OTA rates, and it is only the rate you sell on the kiosk. All right, so if you're using Shopping Channel Manager, the price of the OTA rates will be mapped to uh, AgodaBookings.com and whatnot, and kiosk will be mapped to your kiosk. Right, so that it's basically how you manage the price. So next, I'm going to show you the portfolio of uh, my reservation earlier. So if you notice, uh, a moment ago, you know, I booked the villa room. Uh, I got assigned to VR triple zero, and I performed my check-in. Uh, my book. You know, my supposed check-in and check-out date, uh, I booked for a night, so I am allowed to check out until tomorrow, 12 p.m. But, but because of the testing purpose, if you notice, I came in two mi minutes later, and then within a minute, I check out, right? So that's the difference between uh, arrival, departure time versus check-in and check-out time, right? Next, the payment collected uh, via the kiosk will be recorded here. Uh, the kiosk charged for 10 ringgit, and I pay 10 ringgit, and it will be marked here. And for security deposits, uh, I the kiosk collected 5 ringgit, and two minutes, one minute later, I perform the checkout, right? Then upon refund of the security deposits, it will also be recorded, you know, in the PMS. So at the moment, uh, as you can see, the status is checked out because I did perform the checkout at the kiosk, and the account is everything is balanced, right? So uh, once I perform checkout, uh, the room status will be automatically marked to dirty, so that uh, housekeeping task will be notified and sent to the housekeeper. Uh, I could actually complete the cleaning task. For example, here, as, as you can see, we are room triple zero dirty, you know. I can actually clean the room. You know, uh, I, uh, I found to clean the room. Okay. So while I found started the cleaning, well, wait, uh, I found I started the cleaning, right? Let me show you something interesting. Did you notice the animating room? So when the housekeeper is performing the cleaning, right, the room will be animating. And once I found completed the cleaning task, the room will be not clean. All right. So uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions uh, related to the kiosk in the PMS, feel free to ping us. Uh, we're more than happy to post a live session uh, demonstrating the kiosk. Uh, you know, and answering your questions. Thanks for watching. Okay. If I make a booking online uh, on Agoda, for example, right, I will be able to check in using Agoda reservation code, right, and it will be sent directly from the channel manager to the PMS and to the kiosk, right. So I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, book a room and scan using my passport and pay using my credit card. Okay. So I'm going to book the same villa room. And I'm gonna, a moment ago I was trying to use uh, my card, my, my card. This time around I'm gonna scan using my passport. Right? And insert the passport and click scan. Right? 
right? As you can see, here's my name and my passport number. A photo will be saved into the system. And I'm gonna type K using a credit card. Right, before that. Uh, in this kiosk, uh, we do support cash, you know, and also e-wallet payment, right? You may, you can actually pay using your phone. So for this case, I'm gonna demonstrate how I pay using k right? Right, So you may also use the swap in and key in your credit card ID. Now I'm going to pay the security deposit. Right. Okay, one of the reasons why uh, you should consider using Softin Kiosk software is because of our ability to support with different hardware. Right? So for the same uh, purpose of scanning uh, my card and password, we support two different brands of the password scanner. So you have the, you have the options. And on top of that, uh, we support different room key encoder. So we work with Intego, uh, Orbita, Q, uh, the Statue of Bell vendor that we have done the integration is basically more than 10. Um, you have this uh, cash collector where you have a record of how much you've collected. And then, uh, of course, the receipt printer. For the receipt printer, so we have three different models. So uh, the beauty of using Softin Kiosk app is long-term support and flexibility in terms of the hardware you've got to choose. Imagine five years down the road, you wanted to upgrade your kiosk, you would not need to look for a new vendor. You could actually look for the hardware and replace them, right? And if you found a second-hand kiosk, you can actually buy and install the software and it will still work, right? So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, this is a Malaysian-made product. Hope you will support us. Thank you.